Namaste guys and welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm hyper this morning but just don't worry. It means you're in a good mood as well, hopefully. Hi guys, it's me, Little Miss Virgo. This is laid out there. This is after tarot, guys. If you haven't been here before, I am intuitive. I forgot who I was then. I've had many names. <laughs> I'm an intuitive psychic reader. I'm also a chosen one. I have complete contact with the divine. And I'm also a collective like yourself. So, the reason I came on here was because I was on my own for a terrible breakup and I've had an awakening and I've had a rebirth. So, I didn't want anyone to be on their own like I was. So, I am here to support you and your angels are here with me to support you. And all I do is make my own cards, give you messages from your angels, a little bit of advice. We have a couple of shits and giggles on the way, and that's about it. And I've been through everything in life, so it's not like I'm sitting here judging you, because I'm not. If you're gay, straight, black, white, Chinese, Japanese, what are these? Dirty knees. I don't care. You're welcome here, okay? And I always say, you matter to me, and you do. And I love you, love you, love you. Right, guys, so, I wasn't going to come on today, but I've been guided on. I think the, because um, I've had a lot of weird um, downloads yet, the exes, they, like I said the other day, they are coming back. They are. They are. They're planning at the moment. Because they know that last time they tried to get back to you, they obviously had um, other partners. And they know that you're more intuitive now. So what they're going to try and do is get rid of these car mates. But not get rid of them, they'll just hide them away for a little bit. They won't leave these car mates, mate. They won't. These people will not change. They will not. So like tender leopard to change your spots. So, they're going to try and get you back. But, all they're going to do is come back to take what you've got. Or be nosy and see what you've got. And, um, yeah. And they just want to clone you again. And I personally would say no. Because the energy is really strong, you know, guys. I can feel it. Right, I think that's enough. We've done that. So, yeah. Exes are... Coming back. Personally, I would return them to sender under the stone that they crawled out of. Yeah? Because these car mates are trifling. And they're worse now than before, guys. Because they've been around people that are more toxic than them. And they will just come back. Talk to you. Yeah, confirmation. Talk to you like crap. And, uh, oh, mate, you won't put up with it. You won't put up with it. You're too highly advanced than them now. You are. Right, guys. Let's begin. Angels and ancestors, thank you for coming into my space. Could you please give me some download messages for the collective in Jesus' name? Amen. May you bless them with a ring of protection around their home and around us whilst we do the channeled messages. Right, angels, shall I ring the bell? You've got earphones on, pop them off, darling, just for a minute. Angels and ancestors, come into our space, please. There you go. Right, guys. These are me two cherubs for you. This is my love to you, okay? Mwah, mwah. Love you guys. I hope you're right today. Right, I am going to just do where I'm going. I've been guided to the angel cards, and I might do you some more of these um, positive... Positive... <laughs> ones, yeah. Right, hold on. Because I feel like taking a bit off each... Right, guys. Hope that music's not too loud for you. Right, let's go. Angels and ancestors. Any cards you see and they resonate with you, that's why I turn them this way. Well, they're on both sides. But just take them as you... If, you, if they, you're drawn to them, they're for you. And anything I say is... Um, obviously, don't take it each and everything for you. It can be. It can be. When they say the reading is not for you, it can be. <laughs> Seriously. Just tell Red that you'll know, and I'm going to feel your energy anyway, because I'm very good. I can sometimes tell you what you're eating. Oh, we've dropped one on my dog. Oh, that's a nice card just come out. Right, so, oh, we are popping. Go on, angels. Yeah, I knew this This one felt like this was the deck. Look, look how loose it is. Look how loose it is. Oh, oh, brilliant. Come on, let's have it. But I'm sure... There are too many there. I am air sign. I'm not taking them ones. 
air sign just popped out, babes. I am not against air signs, guys, but I feel like a lot of these people are air signs because they're normally up in the air, yeah, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. I don't dislike any signs, I love you all, but it normally means that. These cards are really loose. My angels really want to talk to <laughs> today. Come on, angels, that's it. You talk to us. Oh, brilliant. Talk to us. We're getting a few of the old cards out that we used to get at the beginning now. What's it? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. They're coming out fast. Well, I don't turn them over, guys. I just leave them as they are, all right? Here we go. Oh, no. It's a mixture, guys. It's a bit calm. It's going to be calm. Oh, it's going to be calm, okay, because their energy is so strong. Listen, I never think about my ex, right? And lately, he's not been off my bloody mind in a bad way, not a good way. Because he's thinking about me, okay? So, if you're feeling like um, unsettled or just not right, and you keep crying out of nowhere, let me shut my window. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys, just I've got the ex living next door, so I don't really want to hear me. Yeah, so. If you're feeling a pull and you keep feeling upset, it's obviously not your energy. It's not. Because I keep feeling quite bad. Me and my dog slapping her lips. She's telling me she wants breakfast, but she's already had it. You greedy moo. <laughs> right, Chips, I've got this minute. Go lay down. Lay down. Good girl. Oh, we had a one fall on the floor, didn't we? Right, guys. My life is taking place right here, right now. And it is. You know this anyway. But these people know it as well. I'm getting in, my angels are here. Mm. Sorry guys, hold on. All right, angels. Oh, mate. One of you gets indigestion that watches this, because I get this feeling, but then I get indigestion. I can taste onion as well. Oh, burger man's here, ain't you? <laughs> when my burger man's here, I can always taste onion. Right, my life is taking place. Yes, it is, guys. But the thing is, these people know as well that your life is taking place. The only reason they're coming back is because they know your life's better than theirs, right? It's not because they want to come back. Um, all you've got to do is just rise above the negative feelings, right? Ditch any negative thoughts that these people bring back because this is all they're going to do. All they're going to do, they're going to come in nice and they're going to make out they've changed. They haven't changed not even 30% of the way of your 100%. They've done no work. They've been bed hopping in beds with people. They have not done any healing whatsoever. Not even that much. So you've done that much and they've not even done that much. You're not going to be compatible anyway. All right? Be careful because that's all they want to do is come back to see what you've got to take it or ruin it, yeah? And then they'll be going to get my ears are ringing. Whoa, this is so true. Honestly, thank you, angels. All right? Next card, yeah. So in regret, only because they got caught. They're only in regret because the lies are coming out and everyone's talking about them. And they think if they can get back with you, they can like um, smooth it all over, I just heard. And <laughs> smooth it all over. Do they realise what they've done? This is far from smoothing it all over, I just heard. This is like you couldn't even fill in the cracks what this fucker done. Seriously, not even not even a bit of, uh, what's it called, the stuff you're filling cracks with. <laughs> They're only in regret, not because they hurt you. They didn't care they hurt you. And I'm not being horrible, this is a laid out bear, yeah? They did not care that they hurt you. These people found it hilarious when they hurt you. They got off on hurting you, my angels told me, yeah? They did. They actually got off on it. It was their job to hurt you. It was their job to destroy you. Well, now the shit's hit the fan and now they're getting a bit of their own medicine. Guess what? They don't like it. Well, they won't, will they? Yeah. That's the only reason they're in regret, guys, all right? Well, I'm going to leave them ones up there. Yeah, listen, these guys should never have underestimated the divine. They never should. They didn't realise how highly protected you were. And I've just heard, if people help them out with you, they are getting bad karma. And uh, there is serious, serious karma going to be here for these. Might have right hands itching, might be coming into some money, guys. But yeah, I don't think they um, realised how higher up you was. And uh, because of the karma they're feeling now, they're, they're feeling this isn't normal. Because they've had other relationships, thank you, angels, where they've never thought twice about when they left. They didn't you. They didn't think twice about you when they left. But now, karma, you are their karma. So now all they're going to do is think about you like you was in their head about them that sent you insane, I just heard. So, yeah, they shouldn't have underestimated the divine. Yeah, I'm sure you warned them. 
But yeah, just start rebuilding your life now, guys, all right? Because it is over. It is. Yeah, the seagulls. Yeah, it is over, darlings. It really is. These people, if karma started, your life has started. Their bad karma started, your good life has started. Remember that, okay? I know it's horrible, but you can't feel sorry for these guys because you tried to help them and they didn't want the help. Yeah, listen. If you're dealing with a narcissist, right, they will be sleeping with both sexes because narcissists don't give a shit who they sleep with. They would sleep with anything. They'll sleep with your dog if you left them on your own with them too long. I'm not even joking, I'm not. I'm an older woman and I know. Because they don't love themselves, these people. They hate themselves, okay? So they literally don't, they don't care who they sleep with. They don't. It doesn't matter if you sleep with both sexes, but these people are not safe. They don't use condoms. They haven't got protection. They've got really bad sexual demons because these people, oh, I just heard they sleep with people that are a bit slow. So it's like sex parties are us. And these people are not the full ticket. So you'll be getting these women that go, I'm not being funny, my ex, yeah? I went and saw the bird that he cheated on me with, you wouldn't believe it. She was like a big fat bird that had a brain of a 13 year old. And she went, oh, I only wanted him to love me. And he slept with people like that. Now I'm not taking the mickey. These people to me are paedophiles because women like that who are not the full ticket, right? And they, they prey on them, they live on their own and they're helpless then you must be a paedophile karmics because they're children in adults' bodies. But a lot of these karmics are um, a bit slow. They're not the full ticket and they're not. My angels told me last night, a lot of these um, karmics went to, um, what do you call it, private schools where it didn't do much for them, did it? Because a lot of these people can't even write. You should see my ex write me a letter. He's like a five-year-old. Seriously, it was. He's going to be sorry that he lost you. Stop worrying. Now, it's not all karmic on here. And I know some people are wondering if they, if they are sorry. Yeah, yeah, they will be sorry. Only sorry that you're going to earn more money than them. And only sorry that you're going to probably get someone else, I just heard, because they don't like that. The reason these people are going to be sorry, because they've got to watch you with someone else and they're not going to like it. And that's their karma. Yeah, Angel said they're going to be really sorry when they see you around. And they won't be able to cause trouble with your new lover, because they won't be allowed to because you're so highly protected by um, God and your angels. They won't. They won't get anywhere near you. They're probably planning and plotting now, guys, right? And if on tarot, people say, oh, yeah, they're coming back. Yeah, they are. But it's only like, um, you've got a choice to say no, and it's only an energy. It could be them feeling strongly about coming back. They might not ever come back, yeah? So just take it where it resonates, guys, all right? But, yeah, sometimes you just got to risk it all. And you saw this vision of not being with them. And you knew that you didn't want to leave these people I just heard, but you had to for your own sanity. Yeah, you've been like that little boss eyed. Seriously, you sometimes have to. You have to risk it all for a vision only you can see. These people couldn't see what you could see. You knew that you was basically not in a good place. Thank you, angels. You did. And all they wanted to do was argue with you. What the fuck? Yeah, because they couldn't. Honestly, get out of the past. I believe, my, yeah, my angel just said, like, a lot of you admitted your past to these people. So they make out like they're all sweet and nice. And then later on, what they do, they store it up for ammunition to get back at you. This is how cruel these people are. Because you've got to remember, these people are hurt children, yeah, who haven't had any help. And they, some of them like being like this. They do. If they didn't, they'd, they'd want help, wouldn't they? And all they want to do is argue with you, yeah, because they can't get out of the past. They don't want to get out of the past, these people. They love it because they can't change like you because they hate your joy. They do. They hate your joy. Why? Because they ain't got a life and they don't like the fact that people like you and that you're popular because they're a little pick me. Pick me, pick me. Somebody pick me. This is why they sleep with anybody. If anybody had a, had a partner or had someone, it wouldn't matter what they look like, these people have to sleep with them just to say, ah, oh, I slept with her. Oh, I, I've already slept with him. Oh, I've slept with them. It is like childhood disgustingness when you're a teenager getting your rocks off all over the place. These people have not grown up. They seriously have not grown up. They're retarded. They are. They're seriously retarded. Yeah, they hate your joy and they're a creepy ass. And these people now, you might actually feel that they're very creepy. 
You probably realised there was something off with them, I just heard, when you was with them. There's something not right about these people. They live in a very, very dark, dark energy. I think if you knew what these people were really like, you wouldn't even never have met with them at your table. Because a lot of these people are into sex, porn and, like, yeah, weird stuff and... I don't even want to see that. I was seeing some visions I don't want to see. Anyway, guys, they're all scrambling now to get their story straight, and they are, because they don't know what's been said by who, where, when, and why. They don't. And also, they're going to try and get their story straight, I just said, because if they try and get back view, they've got to cover their tracks. Do you know what? These people are demented. Do they really think you're that? Yeah, they do. My angel just said they think you are stupid. They really think you're the same person that you was for. Not saying you're stupid before, but if you was anything like me, you were so nice to these people, you probably was a bit gullible. I was. There's no harm in it. We all do it. I'm here as a collective, darlings, because I've been in the same position as you. And these people are very tricksters. So, yeah. Scrambling to get their stories right. Yeah, because they know. What, what the hell are they going to say to you when they come back? What the hell? How are they going to explain this? That they tried to unalive you. They drugged you. They slept with everyone where you live. They got no respect for you. They sla slagged you off. They slandered your name. Yeah, they've done this for nearly one to three years. Oh, yeah, come in. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, and then you're going to go to bed with them later. I think not. Honestly. Delusional. God's really proud of you guys because of what you've done and keeping yourself um, loyal to yourself and keeping yourself just a nice person and not having no revenge, I just heard. You didn't have no revenge on these people. Huh. Neither did I, and I could have done quite easy if I wasn't with God. Yeah, you do a lot for others in your community, and you do. And if these people come from your community and you feel like leaving, don't. Because I've just heard a lot of people like you where you live, they do. You're very well liked, and you do do a lot. Maybe you work in a community centre, or you do some volunteering, and um, you help people in your community. And make oh, do you know I just said they're jealous of that because these people thought they were something in their community, and they're not. Like, people are starting to realise that they're fake. They're fake. People don't like fake people. They don't. Hey, handsome. Shh, shh. For me men out there watching, guys, protect your negative energy. Protect it, okay. Alright? Because that's what you're doing now, guys. Because some of these women are going to come back just to use you for sex, I just heard. Alright? Sorry, I didn't mean to say negative energy. I meant protect your sexual energy. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> guys, rewind. Protect your sexual energy. Because these girls, some of them are going to try and get you to get them pregnant. So they can trap you. I just heard. So, guys, be careful, okay? Protect your sexual energy, alright? Even if you are feeling a little bit like on the... Uh, thing you decide to do it yourself you'll be safe for you don't be trapped with these people you don't know what these people have had yeah i just said they're gonna even if they have got something with them they'll try and give it to you because that's how evil these people are they've got sexually transmitted demons these people have where they've been with people that have got like mental health issues and they've got things attached to them yeah you're getting a pay raise soon and i think these people know it they also know that you know that they poisoned and drugged you they know that you know they my, yeah, my angel just said they are scared that you're going to get them arrested or get them sued for what they've done because the cat's out the bag. That's what I just heard. Yeah, and they know you're getting a pay raise soon and they're hoping that you're going to have some money for them. Or you might be getting a pay raise, but I don't feel this. I feel it's karmic-y this today, really karmic-y. Huh? Yeah, we're all part of the same human race, guys, all right? doesn't matter what colour you are, what religion you are. I feel these people are bigots, yeah? And that they didn't like your nationality or they didn't like your difference. No, it's not, sorry, that's not even a word. But the fact that you're different and that you dress different and you talk different. Because I always feel like people watching me, you are different than your exes. I feel you're a different nationality. Yeah, I'm feeling very tight here. I reckon they used to give you a lot of stick about your, sorry, a lot of hassle. Like We call it stick in England. A lot of stick about um, who you were, where you dressed, who you believed in. Yeah, listen, guys, when you're here, I don't care what you are, who you are, who you do, why you do it. Yeah, I love you and God loves you as well. Don't be thinking that God doesn't love you because you're gay, because that's a load of rubbish. God loves everybody. He just wants you to love yourself and love people, that's all. They want it to be seen. Oh, they will be now. <laughs> oh, they will be now, but not the way they want it to be seen, I heard. Oh, no. And they're having really vivid dreams um, of you. 
and uh, like your future and uh, how you're going to be seen. And it ain't making them very happy because all they wanted was to be seen. But they are going to be seen. You're going to be seen now, Carmix, in your real light. You know the light you put on the collective to say they was like you? Well, nah, everyone's going to know now. That's you. It's not them. Yeah, you will be seen. Oh, you'll be seen, all right. You'll be seen by everybody. Some of you might even be seen on TV. You might be going to stay that. You might be going to jail. A lot of these people are going to jail. Proper jail, not spiritual jail. Right, guys, have yourself a girly night or a dress up, yeah? Guys or girls, you need to have a bit of fun now. Start giggling. Just literally, honestly, start having fun. You are free at the moment. I know it don't feel it. And it's horrible knowing they're going to come back, the exes. And it is. On the stage, it's making me quite ill the last couple of days, thinking after I saw my ex that he's in my energy, because I can't stand him. These people think we, we still love them and like them. I don't think a lot of you do still love these people. Why would you? Why would you love them for what they did to you? The love is gone, I heard. The love's fading. It's fading. You might have a little bit of a box for them, but you can't love these people. You can't love these people. They don't even love themselves. They don't. But listen, you've got to have a bit of fun in the giggle. Try and get back to yourself. Yeah, and love yourself. And don't worry about these twats, honestly. Yeah, always walk in faith, not in sight, right? Keep your faith. This also means about looks, but today I'm seeing it as walking faith, like walking your religion. Believe like in what you believe in, okay? All right? And believe what you see is what you see, and it's true, all right? You know your intuition. I don't know why I'm getting that on there. Like, Just believe what you see is facts, yeah? When these people come back, oh, there, look, what's on the back? Looks are very deceiving. Yeah, the soul is beautiful, but inside that counts these people they're quite good looking i just heard or they might not be so much now <laughs> call my ex work mate when i saw him he looked like half the size his face was shriveled up and he looked like the karmic that he's with they actually look like each other you know when you meet people and you turn into each other she's like a witch her face is like a ball of lines and then he's honestly he's like lines wall i don't know why he chose her i mean god knows beer goggles but anyway yeah these people are quite good looking or they were they're not now you're the one that's getting good looking and they're not. They just want to jump on and have a bit of your pie, mate. Yeah, that's all they want, these people. I'm sorry if I feel a bit narky, but it's their energy that's in me today. You know if you've seen me before, I go by the energy and I'm very work, fucking work today. Right, make today the best day for you. Guys, have a day where you don't think about these idiots, all right? Don't worry. They're going to try it every day, mate, and there's always another day to try, but it ain't today, car mix, all right? It's not today, love. We're not feeling it today, all right? Seriously, make today the best day for you. Don't worry about the car mix. Try and have a day to align yourself, yeah, and just not think about them. Shut off your phone if you have to, so you don't get no texts. Just watch YouTube on TV and just cut off your phone. Any weird numbers, just block them, all right? Just today, just make today for you because i feel some of you are in your head at the moment and it's getting on your nerves yeah change your career i believe a lot of you have changed your career or you're gonna change your career all right try and think about it if you haven't you could have braids or dreadlocks or the person you used to be with could have braids and bread i'm feeling female today and there's a lady yeah with thin thin braids yeah i feel like you're watching yeah, could be you just to resonate the readings for you. Long black braids. I feel you've got a bit of silver. A bit of silver in it. Your natural silver. Like you're over 40s. Yeah, this is just to resonate that this is for you. Yeah, they only care about sex and drugs. And they've been thinking about your sex a lot lately. Because I got a download yesterday. That's all they're thinking about. Because when you sleep with an empress or an emperor, you won't want to sleep with anyone else again. They won't get that same feeling they got off you. Never in a million years. They won't. Never. They will never. And the thing is, they was under spells, a lot of these people, and illusions. So now, the spells are breaking. So because they're breaking... Hold on, I'm going to have an interference. I can feel it. Hang on. Hold on. Yeah, look. I can't move my computer. Hang on. I can feel it. Someone's around me. Hang on. Hold on. Someone's around me. Sorry, I could tell it was all going to go off. Yeah, this is because that's confirmation. They're only interested in sex and having sex with you and getting back in bed with you. That's a lot of these people, that's all they think about, honestly. But yeah, don't worry about it, guys. They might be a Pisces or you might be a Pisces. I'm feeling you're an Earth sign, Capricorn. Pisces or Aquarius I'm getting today for you. Yeah, they're so controlling, they've lost control. And that's why they're in such a mess. Because they thought they had all this in 
control and no, it's not. Because lies, deceit, deception always catch up with you because the truth's better than lies. But they're so controlling, they've just lost control of everything now. They don't know what they're doing. So what's the best bet? Come back to you. Then they can get control of you, try and lose your mind, take everything you've worked for. You'll be stuck indoors. These people want you in the dark. Seriously? They don't want you out and about. They could seriously unalive you this time, for real. All right? Be careful, guys. I'm feeling it. All right? They are so controlling. They've lost control. These people are not in the right state of mind. They've got a fake life, fake friends, fake... They're a fake person. They just fake it all. They fake everything. They fake the lot. That's all they are is fake. They don't even know who they are, I just heard. Yeah, because they're jealous as fuck of you. And they are. Yeah, because they know that these will be the best days of your life. And they know it. And they know you realise how does someone get so evil. They don't even know themselves why they're so evil. These people are evil to the core. And they are evil. How does someone get so evil for you being so kind? It's mental. This isn't your problem, guys. This is them. It's their problem. But don't be scared of the unknown. Because it's going to be so beautiful, your future, guys, all right? And it is. And these guys know that it's going to be beautiful. And they don't like you being happy. So they want to come along and ruin it. Oh, well, boo-hoo. They can't, okay? They have no say in it. Look, no mouth. They've got nothing. No say in what you do. Yeah, they've got plenty to say, I just heard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they wanted you to miss all your blessings. And that's what they want now. And that's why they're going to come back. So they can take all your blessings away. Because they want to trap you for money. Because they're tricksters. And they're evil. And they ain't got no money, I just heard. These people are running around just... Poncing off everybody, yeah, probably still their car mix as well. Yeah, because they know that you've done a lot of hard work and they know hard work pays off. They don't know how much you got, but they know you've got something and they know they want to know. But look, what did I say, guys? Protect your sec um, sexual energy. What did I say? There's my angels confirmating what I said earlier. They're coming back just to have sex with you. Protect your sexual energy, okay? It's sacred. If they have sex with you, they will take away a lot of your power and it will make them feel like yeah i'm the king or i'm the queen that's what you get like you're sitting empress believe me i'm not over exaggerating that's all they're coming back for because they're mad as hell because you're moving on and they know they're an old lover and they know soon that you'll be getting a new lover and a new lover will be coming i reckon i would say if you're looking for a new lover it'll be by probably by the end of the year not yet you might have met a new lover if you're with them already but I feel it's not yet. I reckon it's going to be about another three months, yeah, because I feel you're still a little bit heartbroken. You've still got a little band-aid on your heart and you've got a lot of memories of the past, yeah, which are not all good and they're not, all right? And I think you need a bit of time on your own. I don't think a lot of you need a new partner. I think you need to love yourselves, yeah? Best thing in life is loving yourself. You can't love anyone else till you love yourself, guys, all right? But I think you might be meeting someone or you might go on a couple of dates, all right? Watch out for the red flags. You've still got a little bit of a broken line. I don't think you should move on when you feel like that, yeah? Fix yourself before you go with someone else because you don't want to do the same thing to someone else because you're happy as a pig and shit now, and you are. And even if you don't feel like it, deep down, you are getting better. You are more happier. Don't worry, they're an old git. Yeah, DIY yourself to God. Do it your way how you want to do it, okay? It is good to pray in the morning when you get up just to thank Him for protecting you, like God protecting you and your angels while you're asleep. Try and do your prayers for your dinner and please just thank God for your dinner and who got you your dinner. Just be grateful. But DIY yourself to God. You don't need a church. The church is in you. Sinners go to church. That's what I feel. They just go to church like an AA meeting for alcoholics. They go in there to find a fix. Shagging their husbands all wigging and going, Oh, please could you forgive me for all my sins? And then you're shagging bloody Jonathan up the road on a Thursday till Saturday. <laughs> it's ridiculous, yeah? They are not godly people in churches, they're not. And best things come to those that wait, and they do. And please be patient. God has no timing. He knows, right? You're tired. If you're feeling lethargic lately, you've got to rest because God's resting you up because you've got big things coming. And your imperfections actually are a gift. And they are. And love yourself for who you are, guys. All right? And they avoided their own truth. That was it. You didn't deserve any of this, I just said. And you didn't. You didn't do anything wrong with these people. These people are broken. Narcissists, yeah? They're never going to change. A lot of these people will tell you they've changed. They have not. Yeah? 
A lot of these people have not even been on their own because they don't like being on their own, all right? And no, it don't help anyone being miserable. And that's all they want you is miserable. Like that. Look, look at my little ex. I see him. He's about that big. Not much bigger than a tampon. Probably done as much use as a tampon. Just, just absorbed all my energy. <laughs> oh, look at him. Stay away from these people. Oh, they got loads of people behind them. Look, they have. They got loads of people. They seriously have not changed. And they don't help anyone being miserable. And they are miserable. They're going to come back with that little smirk on. Oh, you're right. Loving everything you've done. Sitting there, like, sibering and spitting over what you've done, mate. They will not like it. Seriously, it would be dangerous to get back with these people. Because they avoided their own truth. Buy yourself some flowers, guys, please. Or just do something to make you a bit more happier. You've probably been celibate now for a while. Keep it up, guys. They probably know you've been celibate and they're going to come back, I just heard, and say that they've been celibate the whole time. Have they? <laughs> Shut the front door, have they? Remember what an incredible woman or man you are. Because you are. And remember these people are devious characters. Keep quiet about what you're doing, about any new jobs. Don't let anyone know. Don't let anyone come up to you and start asking you questions because everyone's still in a third party and they are. There's up to three people they're seeing. They might be around with the comet, but they've got other people in the background and you see their true colours and they know it. And they know that you think they're clout chasers. Oh, wrong one, sorry. They literally, they, you see their true colours, yeah? They know that you know that they're clout chasers. They're money driven. They don't care about you. They just care about the money. I feel they went with someone younger for some reason. I don't know why, just to make you jealous. But it didn't make you jealous because you're not really in the mood to settle for anything less than you're not. And you need to tell them that when they come back. Yeah, because you only know you can do something if you try, guys. And you knew that this was going to be hard and you've done it and well done all right listen any woman with them the thing wrong with them is they lack self-love self-respect and self-worth all right and that's exactly where they're going to put you back to all right but you've got self-respect you've got self-worth they didn't have that for you and being happy really suits you guys all right and you are being wrongly accused and the truth will come out but don't worry you don't only have one talent and you don't. Any project, um, pro project, <laughs> any projects you got going, get them sorted now, please, guys. Because while you're resting up, you might as well do a little project. Angels know you're tired. Just keep going, guys, all right? And these idiots thought they had it all worked out. Fucking jokers. They didn't have nothing worked out, mate. They don't even know what's going on now, all right? Yeah, and the Lord won't let... You play around backstabbing solid people. No, he won't to the karmics. God won't let you go around doing this to people that are innocent and did nothing but love you, yeah? No, he won't. Karma is here, all right? A lot of these people are going to lose their homes, their kids, their mum, their dad, their lineage, the lot. You don't realise, karmics, you're only running back to these people because you're running scared. Yeah, you didn't mind them running scared, though, did you? No. Oh, well. Karma's here. Guys, do not fear. I am here. And I am here for you. And I love you. Become your own biggest fan, guy. All right? Get some self-belief. You're not feeling trapped and stuck anymore. But this devious character is. All right? They're shocked you left. Right, and all they want to do is keep you quiet because they know you're loud and you're telling all their bloody business and we can all be hidden in plain sight. Look what God did to you. These people, they thought they were hidden in plain sight. <laughs> no, you were. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Mind your ears. Right, angels and ancestors, thank you for the messages. Please protect the collective today. In Jesus' name, amen. Right, guys, I'm going to do another one after I've drank my coffee. I'm going to probably do you the positivism cards. And I might do you a couple of the um, unicorns today. Because I'm going to try and change it up a bit, alright? Sorry it's a bit blunt today, but it's how I feel in the energy with my angels. They're very, don't get back with the Carmex. They're coming back to take your stuff and to take your mind 
don't let them take your mind again. Remember what you was like before, guys. Right, I love you. You matter to me. Mwah. Have a beautiful day. I'll be on the scene when I've had my shower. Love you guys. Adios. <laughs>